Hello, this is Noreen Cronfinlay from ToddyTalksCrafts.com and uh, Cronfinlay.com. Today, I'm going to show you a little peek uh, into the my wonderful new potholder loom weaving book, and I am going to show you. I should have opened the book to the page, but anyhow, what I'm going to show is weaving for the home. And here we go, weaving for the home. So of course, when you're weaving for the home, you're going to want to weave some pot holders because pot holder looms are great for weaving pot holders. And pillows. This one is an eco-friendly uh, one that's woven with t-shirt yarn that I cut up from three, four, three different t-shirts that were worn out. This pillow is made from loops, potholder loom loops, and it was woven on the standard size potholder loom. This pillow was woven on the pro size larger loom. And this kind of round pillow is another one that is an eco-friendly project woven from uh, cut up blue jeans, and it makes a really nice, soft uh, um, pillow. It's great. And this is the pillow that's on the front cover of the book. Now, I'm going to just scooch over to here, slide. I have a collection of uh, wonderful old hand, um, ironing boards. This is one of them that I use as project tables. And this one has um, a couple of baskets that are also wonderful projects for the home. This one is woven on the larger size pro size loom. And this one is woven on the um, 18 peg standard size um, potholder loom. So this gives you uh, a, a comparison in size to what um, your different sizes are when you weave with the larger loom or the smaller loom. Well, this one's kind of a middle shaped loom. And this one with the uh, little comfort bear in it is the little pocket here was woven on the nine uh, peg little wee loom, which I have over here. And it's in Full flow right now. I'm weaving a ton of uh, the little comfort bears to go off to uh, the um, our church's pastoral care plus um, uh, a child advocacy group here in Edmonton and also to a community in northern Saskatchewan that's uh, just really in need of some comfort and kindness and so I'm weaving up uh, bears like crazy and um, I'm going to be joined by a group of other people who are going to be helping me keep up with the large number of bears that are needed. Maybe you could look around in your community and see if there's anyone in your community who could uh, use some of the comfort bears. So, oops, that's just kind of a bit of a diversion. Now, back to weaving for the home. How about weaving a portrait of your house um, or as a uh, housewarming gift to uh, for someone else who has just purchased their long-awaited home. So a woven tiny house is a great gift. And we'll go into the basket soon here. Um, the woven gingerbread house is a great choice for if you do a Christmas village. So those are fun things for the home too. Just going to toss them down onto the love seat here. And I'm going to pull a few things out of the basket here. Here's a table runner woven using the dancing lady motif as part of it and a floral twill motif as well. And so that's a table runner. We stopped using tablecloths when um, our beautiful greyhound rescue dog who is now dancing in the clouds, um, learned that he could use tablecloths as food delivery systems, and he pulled the corner of the tablecloth over so that he could get to the brownies and was 
thwarted by a fast thinking relative who grabbed the brownie out of his jaws. But that was the end of us using tablecloths. So, oh, back to uh, placemats, uh, not placemats, uh, potholders that just popped out of the basket while I was actually aiming for placemats, which is what we switched over to once our Greyhound decided that um, he wanted to use that tablecloth for getting to the food. So this, these placemats were woven with the large size um, uh, potholder loom and uh, I used wool from uh, Briggs and Little here in Canada and I like to use wool or cotton for things that are going to have heat next to them. Natural, natural fibers are the best for pot holders and I would also say for placemats too I would stick with natural fibers. So oh yeah and of course wall hangings. Wall hangings by the gazillion are uh, great fun. I'll grab one. There we go. Here's a, a wall hanging woven on the uh, 27 peg pro size loom uh, using the dancing lady motif and using uh, what I call the long tail um, uh, slipknot technique to make an integral fringe which is one of the many many techniques that I came up with for this book and I do hope that you're going to absolutely love the potholder loom weaving book and have just so many hours of happy 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 weaving so here's to the delights of potholder looms and to weaving in general, but especially to small loom weaving and especially, especially to my beloved potholder looms. Happy weaving. We'll see you soon. Oh, and by the way, if you're on Facebook, I've started a potholder loom weaving uh, group. So please feel free to join us there. Just look for potholder loom weaving and you'll find us there. It's, uh, it's a group that's open to everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.